So we are now in the old town of Tallinn. Uh, this is the old Hansa restaurant, which we saw in a, a YouTube video. So we might go there later, it looks quite cool. Uh, and Thomas has we finally worked out how to uh, hire one of those scooters that you see in these cities everywhere. So we're having fun on a scooter. So they're a bit bumpy on the cobblestones. So we uh, we stayed just outside of Tallinn last night. I kind of found a, an entrance to a field um, <laughs> where we, we stopped. Um, very damp, there were big puddles everywhere and I saw two frogs in the puddles, which was quite cool. Uh, and then we've, we've gone in this morning, we um, stopped off to fill up with petrol because it's cheap here. And then um, have some breakfast and we're now in Tallinn, of course. The, the first problem we had when we, we got into Tallinn is the problem we have in virtually every city and it's the biggest drawback of travelling with a van and that is finding parking. Um, normally the problem is that the multi-storey car parks are too low for our van so a lot of them are like 2 metres high and we're 2.1 that's a big problem in Germany. Uh, this wasn't the problem here, there's plenty of parking that's not multi-storey. The problem was this time is that it's all this pay by phone parking and when we put in the phone number it just didn't work so um so we, we couldn't actually pay for the parking um, but we found a multi-story in the end um and it's not too far from the center and we, we we've gone in now and we're now exploring talent and i have to say it's really really beautiful um tom said that it, it looks like spice and wolf which is an anime series we like and it it really does and um, one wonders if the, the guy or the girl that wrote that uh, actually came here because it really is so similar. But we're um, busy playing on this scooter which used to be desperate to play on one of those since we first saw one on our first Euro trip. Um, and I'm just having a look around. It's um, a Hansa city, Hansa Athletic League. So it was established in the early Middle Ages as a trading post. And um, there's the centre. I suppose you could say it hasn't changed much. There's a lot of 15th century stuff knocking around here. Cobbled streets, which are nice, although they're not very good on that scooter because they're too bumpy. Um, I think the scooters are better on flatter cities, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, but yeah, it's, it's nice. So we're going to go up to the old town, the, well, the higher bit of the old town now, and have a look what there is. We are now at the Kik in de Kook uh, Museum, which is actually sounds very um, amusing in English, but it actually means to peek in the kitchen. And um, this museum, we're hoping it's going to be quite cool because it's got um, it's got tunnels, yeah, and also castle towers. So uh, let's go. We got the idea for doing this, for going to this um, museum because I saw a YouTube video where they went on it. They also did, did these couple of YouTubers, they were quite funny, but all they did is eat soup wherever they went, uh, which is nice for them. But um, anyway, yeah, we, we like the idea because you go into some tunnels. Now, this tunnel doesn't look very original because it's concrete, but um, in a second, We'll be going down into the tunnels under the castle. And there we are. Ooh. We have a 18th century man or 17th century and Thomas. So tell me, what, what's this, Thomas? Who's this guy? This guy is a former Soviet board cop. Mm -hmm. um, but um, he was homeless, and so he lived here. Mm. 
Quite a few people live here, but nobody knows the exact number of how many. It was between 1991 and 2004. And punks used to hang out here and do countercultural stuff in the 70s. That's a punk. And then, here, I think this is like maybe some nuclear shelter during Soviet times. Cool. Yeah, so it was used as like a, like a kind of air raid shelter, maybe a nuclear one, I don't know. It's a nuclear fallout shelter. And then, so we like kind of going back in time here, and this is still the, the Soviet period. Hello, madam. And now we are going back further in time. And we've still got a bit of the old air raid shelter thing, but my guess is this is during World War II. We've got Nazi stuff going on there. Hello. And then we go back further in time. This is air defense in the Republic of Estonia. So this is when Estonia was an independent little country. And these pictures show people how to defend themselves, I guess. And so it's more of the same benches theme going on here. <laughs> the bulks. The yeah, bulks. To be fair, if you was a homeless dude and you came across like a dry room with a load of bunks, I'd be like, yeah, I'm staying. Yeah, but you have a coat. I mean, better than being on the streets. Hello. Hello. There they are, they're all defending themselves against something. And there's a machine. So we're now going further back in time, we're like in the Victorian and early 20th century. And it was saying that these have become like redundant, but people, there were stories about people discovering passages that they thought might have treasure in them. So it was all a bit mysterious back then. It was indeed the weird look on that mannequin's face. Exemplifies. Could some of these look even real? Are oh, they are real. So this chap here is Metropolitan Arseny. He was the uh, chief of the Russian Orthodox Church, but he criticized the Empress uh, for her, see what it says, uh, oh, it's Catherine the Great, I think, for her loose and libertine life habits. So uh, she got rid of him and put him in here where he died. But he was very pleased about it because it meant God had humbled him. And then here we have, um, Old soldiers. Well, you have a toilet here, not just these. Mm. I think this shows how they were constructed. Maybe a constructing dude. Yeah. Yeah, some old stones. Old? It's mm. quite warm in here. Yeah. I like it. Nice.
So Thomas, can you tell us where we are? We are in a restaurant called Old Hansa. And what's special about this restaurant? Well, um, Apart it's... from the fact we saw it on a YouTube video and thought it looked good. <laughs> well, in case you haven't noticed, this restaurant is medieval. Mm-hmm. So all the food is like medieval recipes and stuff. Some fresh spring water for you both. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Fancy girl. So yeah, all the oh, stuff. Oh, it's handmade. All the stuff are in costumes. All the menu is like medieval. And also the staff, the costumes they're wearing, they don't even wear trainers. They've actually got the proper shoes. Come on then. Dad, this glass is handmade. It's cool. So, we're going to enjoy a medieval feast. Meal, I've got a kind of meat salad thing. We've got the sharing plate of medieval appetizers. And what have you got, Thomas? Some meat soup. Yep. And some medieval bread. It's like medieval cream cheese sauce. Nice. Which is lovely. Look at that. Just look at it. Gone to the boat to a Finland doing a thinking. Finland, a brand new country. Yeah. On a boat called Finland. Finlandia. Finlandia. <laughs> so I'm um, on the Ship Finlandia setting sail from Tallinn. There's the old city on the hill. The, the port is right by the city. And there we are. I have the new towers of capitalist commerce. And there's a Ferris wheel and a Tallinn ferry. Now, we've booked obviously three ferries, um, and each one's with one of the major companies, and we'll be going on a Tallinn one later. But there in the distance is the TV tower. Every Soviet city seem to have one of those. I'm now on the other side of the ship. There's the great funnel of the Finlandia. I think she's backing out. Um, that's actually the front of the ship there. Um, and here's... So you can see a little bit of the old town just there. And there's a fine ship. Uh, it looks like a cruise ship, that one. Actually. Too big to be a ferry that going out into the wide blue yonder, at least the wide greyish yonder at the moment. And so there is the port of Tallinn, which is quite impressive but considerably smaller than some of the ports we were on earlier.
There is Helsinki. And we are going into Helsinki. There are all the islands in the bay. <laughs> 